guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are not going to learn any new element okay yes you heard me right we are not going to learn any new element of flow instead we are going to learn a new type of flow so let me introduce you to a new type of flow which will be record triggered flow okay so i'm going to tell you what record trigger flows are when we can use them and all of that what are their benefits okay so now without any further ado let's dive straight into it and let's create our flow Okay, so this is the list of flows that we have already created. For record triggered flow, we'll create a new flow. Okay, so in this, you have always seen me like uh, selecting the screen flow, but for a change, let's select a record triggered flow. So let me tell you what is record triggered flow. So basically, uh, what its description is saying is it launches when a record is created, updated, or deleted. So in short term. We all know how triggers work, right? In tri uh, triggers, we write before insert, after insert, before update, after update. So this is just like trigger, uh, just that we don't have to write any line of code here, okay? So let's select record triggered flow and click on next. And we'll select free form. What are we expecting from this flow? So we have list of cases in our organization and the client wants that uh, whenever the user or a customer or the client itself will change the status of the case to working then this flow should run and what it will do is it will create a task for that particular case okay so we are creating this flow for that purpose now for this information uh, select the object whose record triggers the flow so here if we want to like add the object whose records are triggering this flow okay so in this case the object is case okay now the next thing is uh, it will ask trigger the flow when a record is created, updated, created or updated or deleted. So what we want is we want when the status field will update to working. Okay. So when a record is updated, uh, is it selected? Right. Okay. Now it will ask you to set the conditions. So what we want is when the records status, when the case status will be working, then only this uh, flow should run. Okay. So adding the condition is very important to refine the records. If we will not add the condition, it will, uh, it will run all the time. The case is updating. Like if I, if I like update the case subject or any field we want to update, then this flow will also run. Okay. So we have to refine the flow, refine the entries. So we will add. This flow should run when the status of the case equals to working. Um, right, this looks fine. Uh, every time a record is updated and meets the condition, correct. And action and related. Okay, so uh, we have two options here. First is fast field updates. So in fast field update, we can only update the fields in the case object. Okay, and in the action and related records, we can create related record. We can basically... Uh, update any field in any object okay so we want to create a new task which is not case object which is task object so we will add actions and related objects related records and we'll click on done so uh, look at this this is the start button but on this we have added the case already we have added when the trigger will work when a record is updated we have added a condition which is status equals to working and uh, we have added that we want to create actions or related records. We want to work on its actions and related records. Okay. So now we have our case here whose status is working. Okay. Now what we want to do, we want to create record. Okay. So let's drag create records here. And we want to create a task. This element will create a task for case okay how many records we want to create we want to create only one record how many how to set the record fields okay so we have two options use all values from the records or use separate resources or literal values so if you want to like give different different values to every field we want to give the values manually so we'll click on this otherwise we can use the uh, all values from the record option okay so we'll add it separately and let's select the object here which is task we want to create task so in task, we'll define the field values. Okay. So for task, let's add related to first. So this is very important. What ID is very important because this will add the case ID to this. Like uh, it is related to case, right? So what value will be here? You must be wondering, we have not fetched the case uh, value separately. So how we can add it here? Okay. So let me tell you the magic of triggered flows. 
uh, you remember in the start button we have added the case flow we have added the condition also so it will refine the case uh, for us whose status is working right so in the start button without using any get record element we have successfully fetched the case record for ourselves without using any other element okay so it is there in the start button already so how you can fetch the record here that is the main question so there is a variable there is a global variable called record if you see here it is record and in the bottom of it you can see case so this is a case record that we have fetched on the start button let's click on this and we want its id so let's type id and we'll select this case id okay so in what id we have added case id now let's add the subject of the task um task for working case let's add it this way mm, priority normal and status will be In progress let's say okay so these are the main fields that we have created let's click on done and that's it your flow is done it was easy it was simple it is not complicated right we have added all the things that we want in this start button itself so, so we don't really have to add the get records element on the screen to fetch the case object we have fetched the case object here only and after that, we have just added a create record element on which we are creating a task and how the task will be connected to case because of this what ID in which we have added the case ID. Okay, so that is it. Your flow is done. Now just save it. Create task. Okay. Now, one more thing you have to see, like uh, you can't see the interaction screen here, okay? Because in record trigger flow, it will run automatically when the case will update. So there's no need to screen. They are not, uh, they have not given screen here, okay? So we can't uh, like interact with users directly with that, okay? Now just activate it. Okay, now let me tell you how this flow will work, okay? Okay, so I have one case here. I have already added it, okay? Now, when we will go to the related, you can see the open activities are zero. There is no task assigned to this case. Now, uh, we'll see how our flow will work. Okay, we'll edit this case and we will change the status to working. Okay, okay so when we'll save it, we'll see that a task is created for this case. Okay, so let's save it. Okay, see. You can see the task, task for working case that we have added from our flow. So that is it. That is the record triggered flow. Uh, whenever we change the status to working, it will create a task for a case. Okay. So let me show you one more thing uh, that it will just create a task when the status is working. If I will change the status to escalated, for example, it will not uh, create a task. See, it didn't create any task. Okay. Now, when we'll change to new, for example, uh, it will not create a task for this time either. Okay. So it will just create a task when the case status will be working. Okay. So that is it for today. I hope you guys learned something new today. The record trigger flow was fun, right? So in our next example, in our next episode, of course, I'll just resume the elements that we were working for. Uh, I just wanted to tell you something new, show you something new. So it will be more fun, right? So that is it for today. I'll see you super soon in my next video of the series. Till then, bye-bye. Take care and keep learning.